Hey everyone, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. So this is a bit of a first for me. I have played exactly 10 seconds of this game and I'm excited to offer you a new solution. We're going to be sending the Bugo to the moon, at least sort of. Uh, let me explain what's going on here. Oh yeah, I should say that I was inspired by this beautiful craft and another one from the past. Uh, thank you to those who keep making excellent Bugo fan art. I am very happy about this stuff. So here we are in game and you'll notice that we are in the rocket test site. This is where you build rocket ships. So we have all the parts here. I don't have any mods or anything and that kind of has an issue because uh, I've got a Bugo that was pre-made by somebody in the Discord but I can't use it because it's missing a lot of pieces and that's very unfortunate. So we're just gonna have to roll with something else for now it is this one right here. No, this does not look like a Bugo, but I will just have to pretend. And please, somebody who's more familiar with this game, help me out. I don't have time to get all the mods right now, but next time, next time, we're gonna drop the Bugo for real. Okay, so I have thought about this because what I wanna try and do is send this thing to the moon, and that is a lot harder than it would seem. Um, so I was thinking at first that I wanted to send it up like this, and then I thought, well, this would make a little bit more sense to go, oh my goodness, roll over, there we go, to kind of go out this way and then put some rockets on it. Um, but the thing is, and, and this is where my inexperience in this game comes in, I have no idea what I'm doing at all. Uh, so get ready. The first and most immediate issue is that if I'm going to be sending this to the moon, uh, well, we need fuel and we need uh, other things to get there, like engines. <laughs> Those are kind of important, just a little bit. Um, but this is not aerodynamic in the slightest, and neither is the Bugo. So right now we're kind of building a test bed, and then I guess the next time I make a video on this game we'll actually send it, or we'll try to. Okay, so we have fuel tanks here. Uh, they hold different types of fuel. I'm a little bit unsure exactly what these need. Uh, like this one here is just a fuel tank, but then if you go to the engines, different engines take different fuel, and then certain fuel doesn't work under certain altitudes and all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit confusing as somebody who's only done the first three tutorial missions. Uh, yeah, mistakes were made. Okay, so I switched to the space plane editor because I think that this makes a little bit more sense for what this thing is supposed to be. And I'm very quickly going to try this. I don't think I've actually got the right fuel for this, but I'm also not convinced that it's actually going to work. Uh, so here we go, quick test. So it turns out that when you strap two jet engines onto the car, it uh, doesn't do anything. It's just really heavy. Um, I probably should have set up a stage for this or something. Okay, no, there we go. That's actual jet engine noises. They're making noise, but I don't think they're actually doing anything. Okay, so that was a minor failure, but this time, this time, I'm going to get it right. Apparently these things take liquid fuel, I think we can get that somewhere around here. Uh, <laughs> there's got to be a smaller fuel tank, right? Okay, with a small t fuel tank attached, I'm going to accelerate the car and uh, hit the boost. Yeah, that really didn't do anything. Just, uh, just send it, please. <laughs> oh, it's the wrong type of fuel. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about this one. I've got fuel tanks here, two of them to kind of offset the counterweight of having two giant jet engines. Uh, and it doesn't do anything. Oh, I should probably run lines, right? That would make a lot of sense. So I regret to inform you that, uh, I am a complete idiot. Um, <laughs> I think you could probably tell that already, but... I did not realize that shift is throttle for some reason, and it just wasn't cluing into my mind. However, I'm still struggling to make anything fly. Uh, yeah. Let me show you what I've done so far. So we start off with a basic car, which is fine, but then I was thinking that uh, what I should probably do <laughs> is make a uh, cockpit on there, probably, yeah, otherwise it might not work and then just kind of put everything else behind it that you would normally have on a rocket or a, a plane, I guess. A rocket plane, close enough. Please feast your eyes upon my brilliance. It is the uh, device that will uh, send this car to the moon 
or die trying, um, probably die. But basically we have a really long engine, the car is moving backwards right now, don't worry about that, it's fine. Um, it's dragging on the ground, but I'm gonna fix that soon. Air intakes, because for some reason I totally forgot that those were a thing. I apparently forgot that I've played Simple Planes before. And then there's also an air intake in here because that's very, very efficient. Um, we have two pilot sets, one for the car and then one for the plane that's holding the car. And then if we hit the throttle here, all the way up, give her a boost, you can see that it actually does move, which is... oh. It moved for about five seconds and now it is absolutely breaking, but you know what? That is the fastest I have ever gone in this game. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be good. So up until now you haven't actually seen me build this. Uh, that's mostly because I was trying to figure out how to play the game. And uh, I can safely say that I have no idea what I'm doing, but at least I know at least a little bit more about how to play. Um, that's all I can say, genuinely. I don't know what I'm doing at all. I think that's part of the fun, though. Now, hopefully, this thing will stay alive long enough to work. That's the goal, at least. Okay, with our back wheels on, the car shall propel itself forwards uh, with rocket power. Haha! <laughs> I think I need more than one rocket, though. I'm gonna need more power than this. This craft weighs a hefty amount, especially with those wings. And... Yeah, it keeps blowing up for some reason. No idea why. There's also a lot of fuel on board because this thing is a fuel tank, but yeah, don't worry about that. It's not quite enough yet. We need more. Okay, so I had a plan here, and uh, I think it's some cunning genius. Basically, the uh, fuel cell is up here now, and the rockets are way down here for better balance. Ooh. And then I think I'm going to take these and kind of lower them down just a little bit. Um, so potentially, if it does happen to roll backwards a little bit too much, that's still gonna work. All we need now is a cockpit, and I think we might be good to go for another test flight. Oh yeah, no, it's ready. It's definitely ready. All right, it's a little bit bouncy. Uh, don't worry about it though, we're fine. Uh, with two rockets this time, I'm confident that it'll have the power to actually go somewhere. I just wanna get off the runway, that's my initial goal. So I'm gonna start full throttle and blast this lad off. Um, that solid fuel is going... Oh, these things take solid fuel? That big tank is a liquid fuel tank. <laughs> it's not even necessary. Okay, test flight uh, 17. I've officially created what is effectively glitching the ground over there. Don't worry about that. Um, this looks like a land speed record car. That's not really what I was going for, but... I mean, if I'm going for that Simple Planes vibe, then here we are. Um, I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, it does work. Oh, and it's wickedly fast, too. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. 100 meters per second. We just need wings now. Oh, we need a way to balance it, too, because it's getting shifty. But this is the fastest thing I've ever made. Oh my goodness, it's actually gonna work. And... Oh, it's flying. Oh my goodness, it's flying. It's actually flying. It, it's really uncontrolled flight, but it is indeed flying. <laughs> Major success, boys. This is it. All we have to do is point this thing up in the sky, and we might actually have a rocket on our hands. Although we're going to need more fuel, this is just simply not enough. I'm going to turn it down a little bit just to see if I can stabilize it, but that's not likely. Yeah, there's no way. We're going right down in the sea. Let's go. Come on now. Down in the sea. This is a submarine now. Boom. Flawless. I can't believe it, but I managed to ma last... 1 minute 17 seconds. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Okay, so I don't think they ever told you this in engineering school, but uh, wings fix everything. So I'm just gonna add more wings. Trust me, I'm not actually an engineer, but I'm pretty darn close. Uh, also in civil, not, not in aerospace in the slightest. Okay, so this is another version of it that I've just created. Uh, that's what I call the Hercules X. Uh, X for aerodynamics. Uh, it's gonna work, trust me. Now, if we put throttle on on the actual car, we start to move forward a little bit. Full throttle on the rockets, because we don't have a lot of runway here. We need to use as much as we got. And just minor adjustments, and it looks like we might actually have something here. The car is bouncing around inside, and... <laughs> okay, that is not quite what I wanted to happen. Uh, thank goodness there were no Kerbals on board. Nobody was killed in the making of this vehicle. Uh, at least not yet. 
Okay, so this is attempt two. Basically, I'm just gonna go for it again, but with lighter adjustments, it's really hard to keep it straight when it's doing 200 meters a second. Uh, but I do have wings, so I should have lift. And oh my goodness, it genuinely flies. I cannot make it go up, but it, uh... oh, <laughs> it actually flies. Oh, it almost was a speed bump for a second there. Okay, this is this is really gonna work. I just need a way to control it. Okay, so the wings that I've chosen do not have any flaps on them, which is probably a mistake. Uh, I guess I'll just switch them for ones that do have flaps. That would make the most sense. Okay, so I've got some wings that actually have flaps on them, and they do indeed go up and down, which is excellent. I've also got some little fins to uh, make it look cooler. And uh, yeah, I think we're, we're ready to take off. It is the X Bugo 5000, the hidden Bugo. Um, I'm gonna rocket this lad off, and we're going to attempt to get to the end of the runway before I lift off for good uh, and for bad as well. Okay, up we go, up we go. Please now. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna have to try that again. So apparently, I didn't learn anything from simple planes because. Uh, I forgot whether the point of lift needs to be behind the center of mass or not. Um, so this thing might not fly at all is basically what I'm trying to say. It does kind of fly, but it also rolls and dies and explodes and flies into the ocean and really explodes. Yeah, that's about right. I'm confident that if I can get one good run out of this that it might actually do it. If I can keep it straight and not have to do anything, it might be able to stay steady here. And come on now, buddy, just keep her going. Right off the ramp. Oh, okay. That was bad. That was really bad. One more time. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay, so the center of lift right now is behind the center of gravity, and the center of thrust obviously is way at the back because these engines are long, but yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Okay, after about zero testing, I've come up with something that is horrendous, but also beautiful. And it just so happens to be these little tail fins uh, that could potentially save this rig. Uh, I'm going to turn the throttle up, just not all the way this time. And uh, yeah, we can now kind of turn. Just a little bit though, really not much. We're not going to have any lift, at least not yet, but I just want to see if we can turn in air. No, probably not though, let's be real. Uh, we don't need that wing, do we? Oh, you know what? We actually didn't need that wing. At least not for very long there. Okay, would you look at that? It turns out that more wings was the answer, because I've added four more wings. Actually, six more wings. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely not the X. Don't worry about that. Um, let's move this thing forwards at an accelerated rate and see what the heck happens. Um, so far, I think we're about to die, but... We might be able to lift off with our two new wings there. Okay, you know what? That I'm gonna count as a lift off. My goodness, that was really darn close. Let me try again. The longest time I've survived so far has been uh, one minute and some odd seconds. I think I can do better than that. I really do think so. Uh, let me just go up to 75% throttle here and see if we can't just lift this lad off the ground at least just a little bit. Last time it blew up because it ran right into the runway when I did that. This time I'm gonna wait till the end of the runway, go full throttle, and fly. <laughs> it's working! Oh my goodness, it works. Oh my goodness. Nobody can doubt me anymore. This is brilliance. It genuinely flies. It actually flies. It's very unmaneuverable, but oh my goodness, it works. And somehow we gotta do better with the fuel though, this is a little bit too much. I'm gonna go down to 25% throttle, and... Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'm really excited now, what the heck is this? It's actually working. Okay, even lower on the throttle. Ah, uh, you know what, we just kinda need to maintain our speed, don't we? Just slightly upwards to the sky, we're gonna orbit the moon here. Or, uh, oh wait, we just ran out of fuel. Oh boy, this is going to be a long descent, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it was worth it. It was totally worth it. That was awesome. That's the best flight I've ever had. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. This is such a piece of garbage, but it works. That's all that matters. And down we go, 1500 meters, actually quite a bit less than that at this point. Um, I can't believe it actually flies. I'm shocked that it works. <laughs> I'm still in shock. And I'm going to be when I hit this freezing water. Nice, easy entry though. Oh, lovely. Not lovely. Ah, surprisingly lovely. That was pretty decent. That was awesome. Okay, let's see how long we lived. Okay, 2 minutes and 32 seconds. That is a new record. Apparently, uh, everything has been destroyed, but... Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good thing there. That was awesome. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try one more time, and then we'll pack it in. Okay, so I'm flying it once again. Uh, this time, doing a little bit better. I'm gonna try and fly a little bit flatter as difficult as that is apparently even with very low throttle we're still burning solid fuel extremely fast i just need to figure out how to add it in because then i can hopefully make a return trip that's really my goal here uh, you can see the wheels are still turning underneath the car or plane or whatever the heck this happens to be yeah we're coming in for a pretty hot landing here boys that's not quite what i was after but i think that's a pretty good showing for today my goodness <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Directly into the ocean once again, as uh, as it always happens to be. But yeah, that's it for Kerbal Space Program for today. Hopefully you enjoyed me messing around a little bit. Wanted to keep this video a little bit shorter as it's just an intro to the idea of me playing this. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Don't worry, I will learn how to play the game at some point and maybe I can make something good. Although that's um, quite unlikely. I have a couple people who volunteered to teach me, so yeah, I, I might take them up on that offer, we'll see. I do find it fun just to mess around though, let's, uh, let's be honest, that is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, like this picture right here, absolute beauty. But yeah, that's everything for now, hopefully you like this, leave a like if you did, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content, and I'll see you guys again next week. Big thank you to everybody who has chosen to support this channel. My goodness, there are a lot of you now, up to 19 this time. Uh, Overlord, That Rice to Explorer, QT Bear, Terry Williams, The Most Random Person, Sick D Cars and Stuff, Jug, Paradoxical, GA Pope, Channel Plant Failed to Load, Eden Orchard, okay, I'm, I'll get it eventually, and Carbanzo, Bean Chili. Interesting. <laughs> thank you for your support, guys. Appreciate it a lot. My goodness. This is <laughs> very exciting. This is going to be an awesome uh, January coming up, getting into 2021. I'm hopeful that the channel can continue to grow and you guys are helping that happen. So thank you. See you again next time.